Hello there, this is Linda Jo Martin, the book lady, and today I am doing my weekly Christian video. I've noticed that after I do a Christian video, I always lose a few subscribers who perhaps didn't know that I do Christian videos. And I just want to say that if you are one of those people who does not like Christian videos, you don't need to watch this one. And I do hope that you will stick around for my other booktube videos. But if you are a person who enjoys my Christian content, I hope that you will enjoy this video. I am a booktuber. I like to read books, and one of the books I like to read is the Bible. And so on Mondays, I have the opportunity to film one video per week that really focuses in on the reading that I do that is about the Bible or that is the Bible itself. So I read a variety of Christian books. I have been studying the book of First John this week. I've been studying it, well I started in the New King James Version in my other Bible which is the Life Application Bible and I read all of that with all the notes. Now I am going through the Inductive Study Bible which is the one that Kay Arthur has created with a lot of notes on how to do her type of Bible study, which involves a lot of writing in the book, not like Bible journaling, but this kind of thing. Going through and um, underlining different words, different particular words in certain colors. And so the words that I was looking for in 1 John this past week are written here at the back of that um, that particular book. There's some things to fill in. So the words that she had us look for in 1 John were fellowship, abide, sin, no, love, born of God, right, light, truth. And then at the beginning of 1 John and every other uh, book of the Bible, she writes um, things that she wants you to do as you are studying it. There's a list of things to do. And right now I am doing uh, number five on the list, which is to go through every instance of the word no, K-N-O-W, in the book of 1 John and to write down what I can know and how I can know it at the end of the book. So that's pretty much how this is going right now. And while I was doing this, I decided to write or to talk to you about um, knowing him, basically, because I've also been reading this book Abide in Christ by Andrew Murray, and I am so taken by the writing of Andrew Murray. I actually went out and bought two more Andrew Murray books while I was at church yesterday. So those books, they're very short and inexpensive. I'm very fortunate to have a bookstore in my church. I know that isn't in all churches because I've actually gone to a lot of different churches in this area to see what they were like because I became a Christian just five years ago and I came back to the church that I started in which is a Calvary Chapel and I I love that church it has a bookstore in it in the fellowship hall so I get things like this um, this is a little book called the secret of spiritual strength by Andrew Murray and this is pretty much quotations from the books of Andrew Murray and the Bible. 199 Treasures of Wisdom on Talking with God, compiled from the writings of Andrew Murray, who was a pastor in South Africa uh, 
over a century ago because he died in 1917. And he wrote a lot of books in Dutch. And we are so fortunate that some of them have been translated into English. I first started with his book, Humility, and now I'm reading this one, Abide in Christ. And every time I read a chapter, I am just blown away by his wisdom and the things that he's teaching me. So this week I thought I'd talk a little bit about what I'm reading in 1 John that corresponds with the commandments of Jesus. Now we know the main two commandments are written in Matthew chapter 22 verses 36 to 40. And I'll go ahead and read those now. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. That's from Leviticus 19, verse 18. And this is the great and foremost commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend the whole law and the prophets. So when John wrote 1 John, he referred to those commandments and said um, in 1 John chapter 2, verse 3, By this we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. And in verses 5 and 6, it says, Whoever keeps his word in him, the love of God has been perfected. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he abides in him ought to walk in the same manner as he walked. In chapter 4 of 1 John, it says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. And it says in John, the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 15, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. So I am referring to these verses because we need to remember to follow his commandments in order to have his spirit reflected in us. It's by following those commandments that we are able to have the Holy Spirit working through us. And I think that's really an important point to remember. And so today when I was researching this, I came across a file on the internet that said, the 50 commandments of Jesus. And somebody went through all the Gospels and found everything that was at all commandment-like and put it in a file. So for the next few weeks, I'm going to be going through that paper. There's 50 commandments. I'll probably only talk about 10 at a time. I think it will be very interesting as a Bible study. And so I hope you'll join me for that. I do my Christian videos, like I said, once a week. I film them on Monday. They might not actually come out on the web until Tuesday, but I do the filming on Monday. And so I hope that you'll be back and join me for that Bible study now. For those who are not into Christian talk, I'm surprised you stuck around in this video that long. But of course, you're very welcome. And I'd like to talk more about what it is to live the way that Jesus lived, with the humility that he personified so naturally, and that we really have to work a bit at, because issues like pride keep coming up and obscuring our ability to be humble. 
And we need to recognize that. We need to recognize when we're having negative thoughts that are not reflective of the commandment of Jesus to love our neighbor. And this is something that happens to me sometimes because I have resentments against people. And I've had to go through a lot of forgiveness work to work on those resentments. But still, even to this day, I sometimes have resentments, but the good news is that I'm recognizing it more and learning to pray about it when I do have a resentment come up. So I think that's really an important part of the process of becoming Christian. I've been a Christian for only four and a half years, and so I'm still growing. I'm thinking probably Christians continue to grow even if they've been Christians 40 or 50 years. Just a guess. Anyhow, thank you for coming and watching my video today. And if you have any insights for me, be sure to leave a comment or just leave a comment even if you don't feel particularly insightful because you never know when the Spirit of God will be working through you. So thank you for listening and I will talk to you in another video.